Let's do it.
been done, it's time to start doing the walking. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Both men step back for just a moment. Got caught clean by a left hook. Swing and a miss with that jab. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on here, you don't understand. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be a hellfire on here. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Just misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dares do anything out of turn. He just split the guard with another uppercut. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Do you believe what we are seeing? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Time out! Let's talk about Khan in that last round. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond. And there's the bell to start the round. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. We've seen this fighter in the past go 12 rounds and not have a mark on their face. That's what happens when you stick and move, you hit and you don't get hit. This is what makes outside fighters so good. Their footwork is second to none. It's as fast as their hands. A perfect counter lands. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Those counter punches have to hurt. Back and forth they go. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Look at the footwork, the hand speed. This is the best that the middleweight division has to offer. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. This counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you and usually hit you harder. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. punch a very competitive round with 10 seconds left let's talk about Khan in that last round they've got the momentum they've got the advantage how do they carry that into the next round they ring the bell and here we go well there's no doubt about who won that last round Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Missed him with that uppercut.
lot of fans know how quick these lighter fighters can be, but tonight, don't be surprised if these don't pack a lot of power as well. And he scores with the counter. They have no respect for each other's punching power. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Do you believe this? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Just missed with that hook. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Can't land the jab there. And is this the beginning of the end? A nightmare start to this fight. Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it's a knockdown. Talk about Khan in that last round. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get speed, good footwork. You're gonna get punches thrown from head to body. You even get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight division, they'll stand there. They don't, they don't need a ring, they need a phone box. A perfect counter shot. Swing and a miss with that hook. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. A perfect counter shot. Look at the hand speed and footwork between these two elite. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we gonna have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. That hook doesn't score. You know, with lightweights, these guys are going to be lightning quick. Middleweights always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fights... The referee really, really... around halfway through. Well, he's on his feet, but there's no way he's gonna win this round now. 
But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up, they've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. He's up, but, but for how long? Look at that. On the heels, look at it, there's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot, a clean one, and he's out of there. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Missing with the hook. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. Talk about Khan in that last round. They ring the bell, and here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a pulse. He's got a, he's got a... The defense failed him. Caught up to him. So this fight will continue, but how can they get back into this bout? The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Looks like he's leading halfway through this round. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see That's some insane, lightning. Bro. Todd, look back in history. Sugar Ray Leonard against Roberto Duran. The first fight, Sugar Ray Leonard tried to fight and stand there toe-to-toe with him. Insane. The second fight, he thought, this guy's aggressive. He's, he's nasty. He'll do everything to get the win. I've got to box him. I've got to frustrate him. I've got to humiliate him and show him how good a boxer I am. We're always I looking for that KO, and we could see an upset right here. Khan in that last round. Both men knocked down in that round. Incredible. They we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Both fighters knocked down in the last round. What do we have in store for us in this one? One fighter got knocked down earlier, got back up again to knock him down. How, how are they going to walk back out of this into the next round? That uppercut just missed. Someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this bout? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Yeah. You know the amazing fights at middleweight are ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. For those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Yeah, he just running, bro. That hook just can't find the target. This 
despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. And we may see a stoppage here. First, bro. Let's talk about Khan in that last round. I promise you. And there's the bell to start the round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Whoa, wait a minute. What a shot. back up on their feet but I'm not sure why that is a show of character when you're put down your regal's hurt your chin's hurt your body's hurting and you've got to get up suck it up and think right and back in the game again it's so so hard for a fighter he's got the advantage halfway through the round the corners must be so so happy down to a team play the plan out to a team if they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again they've got it So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Final 10 seconds here, unless we get some late drama. I think we all know who won this round. Amir Khan, it's some real trouble. <laughs> Let's talk about Khan in that last round. They ring the bell, and here we go. They won't be happy about that, but say la vie. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. Come on. And my percentages are better than him. Come on, in every fucking category you've been in. Come on, man. 